Oh, okay. Hello everyone, I'm Daniel the Darkness and welcome to a new video of You just just unfocus camera. I mean webcam. Really? You got a fingerprint. No, get rid of that. No, no, no. Sorry about that in the video. Oh, I just saw that too. Like, oh wait, fingerprint. Oh, I need to get rid of that. <laughs> that is not professional. But technically, I'm not a professional YouTuber. Please be nice on me. I'm asking you guys to be nice and not because it's recording and everyone knows when you're recording something you have to make it interesting but I'm <laughs> oh, make it more complicated than it has to oh. <sighs> masses, and masses and shit this is this should be a YouTuber simulator. Like, we're trying to record, make a video, and knocking shit off the table. How about that? <laughs> knocking stuff off the table. Ugh. Okay. This is better. I'm making sure you guys see me on the camera, even though it looks dark. Maybe I'll have watch on, on the site, maybe. Maybe I could. Ah, oh, it's better this way, so. Why am I turn the light off? Let's see what it looks like when the lights are off, okay? Okay, you guys can't see shit. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a little challenge then. Uh, because the game is a mystery game, but it's a board game. It's a board game, which you're a detective in this story. And you're trying to prove, uh, okay. Here's the box. The box, <laughs> maybe put it right here. So, this is the game I'm going to play. I did this last night. I played this game last night. And, uh, excuse me, I just ate, like, two hours ago? Sorry. Um, I bought this on Target. And I'm not explaining the place. So, oh, I'm going to say there's spoilers ahead in this. Everything has been opened up because I already did this last night, which I said. Okay, let's start. So, this is on self cases. Harm Harmony Ashcroft case. I'm not a professional reader, okay? Sorry. So... The murder mystery game that lets you be a cold case detective. I'm gonna read the back. I already have this box open. So I'm gonna reclose it and I'm gonna have a good surprise after this video. So, and uh, I'm not gonna show uh, the website. To be honest, I wish, uh, I wish I could, but uh, I mean, I could, but I can actually say the webpage. But if you actually are watching this and you're going to play this game on your own or with a friend, and you don't want any spoilers, do not watch my video. Okay, I'm going to say there are spoilers ahead of this game. If you never played this game before or don't understand what this is, so I'm just going to read uh, the back. The murder mystery game that lets you be a cold case detective. <clears throat> On May 8th, 1998, the small Indiana town of Riverdale, Vias shocked by a, the brutal murder of of one of its most beloved citizens on the night before a wedding. I'm just going to let you know, these people that made this are actually freaking awesome. I actually... <laughs> got me thinking, okay. The victim, Harmony Ashcroft, was murdered in the parking lot behind a restaurant during her own wedding rehearsal dinner. Bones McBride, a logo... Fa vagrant was framed for the murder and has spent over two decades behind bars despite being 100% incident I mean in innocent oh my god I had to read that Bones McBride a local vagrant 
was framed for the murder and has spent over two decades behind bars, despite being 100% innocent. Your job is to prove his innocence and convict the real killer. All the clues can be found in the evidence. Can you right this wrong and get justice for Harmony? So the evidence is the back. So the back's like the story. So you got photos, newspaper articles, witness reports, interrogations, and maps. Which the contents is one evidence, photo, photos, free bonus. Which right now I don't need this box anymore. I mean, let me show you the inside. So it's supposed to look like something like this. Besides, you don't get a pencil or anything. But I'm just gonna read uh, how to play. I'm gonna show this how to play, even though the quality is terrible. So, okay. <clears throat> how to play unsolved case files game. Number one, free objectives to solve. Find the clues and the evidence in the case file to solve free objectives that lead you to the con to convict the killer. Use the online answer keys to check whatever you found the evidence to solve each objective. After completing each objective, open the bonus envelope with extra evidence in your next objective. After solving the third objective, you close the case and put the the murderer behind bars where they belong. So, that's the name of the game. It's kind of like, uh, I, I'm not saying it's kind of like Hunt a Killer. I've never played Hunt a Killer before. It's like, no. Focus! <laughs> oh my god. This is like the second time you did this. I'm talking to the webcam. That is, see, I'm going to put the, uh... Bonus envelopes in front of me. Oh, this is good. How about... Man, I didn't straighten my table up <laughs> as I thought I did. But, uh, you know, I'm going to move you. Maybe it's better this way. How about that? I just figure everything out what to do. Okay. Now this is the list. I actually did this yesterday, so... Um, hopefully... Hold on, how about this way? Yeah. I got a piece of paper. And you don't want to focus on it. But... Okay. It's just like, make sure you have everything. Newspaper article, which I'm going to read. I have evidence in here. Photo evidence, which is the what you need to look at. Newspaper article. Like, I'm taking everything out of this folder, so I'm going to do it real quick. Because it's becomes a big, big pile. Oh, wait, I have a freaking... I have a whiteboard. <laughs> so, since I got everything out... <laughs> okay. Unsub cases, unsub case files getting started. Oh, before I do it, um, when you get this, you get this folder. It has everything on, which I put in the computer. So, you get this... You get that. You get this. Let me put it a little bit back. So, yes, I open it from the bottom as opposed to open it from the top. And then tell me which way to open. <laughs> Where to open. <laughs> which I did. I played this game yesterday. <laughs> so, now I'm trying to forget last night, even though I had the dreams about this before. So, crazy. So, I'm going to put. Some of the evidence stuff and some of the uh, objectives where I can actually get to them. I'm going to put it next to my microphone. How about that? So I'm going to have some little bit of space. Yay, spacemen. Space bugs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm making so many stupid jokes. Oh, wait. I don't need this list anymore. So I'm going to put the list uh, inside the folder and uh, do whatever I need. So the folder is going to be right on top. On my computer, which I can do is need a mouse, and I already have this site open. So when you start playing the game, it would tell you go to the site, which it would say like where, for example, it's unsolvedcasefiles.com. So that's harmony dash one, and it would take you to that web page, and the web page has all the lines of all the evidence, and you just pick what you think is right. And you get some of them wrong, you get unlimited chances, so technically you're not screwed. But 
which I'm going to say, uh, when, I'm, when I finish this case again, you guys are going to see my reaction. So, uh, all right. And I'm going to tell you real quick, I am going to swear like a sailor in this. I'm being honest, okay? I'm being very, very honest. I'm not sugarcoating anything, you know, like sugarcoating. I mean, I'm not sugarcoating, like, my words. And I'm saying, when I actually swear like a sailor, I mean I do. I'm just erasing some of the stuff off this board. So I can actually use this board. Oh, no. <laughs> no, the, the freaking eraser does not work in. Oh, now it is. I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure on it. Eee, come on! Screw it. Let me use the other one. I have a red one. Please don't be broken. Oh, this one's not broken. Oh. Screw it. I'm using my hand. Oh, it's stuck in there. Oh, no. Not anymore. It's going to take me a while. I'm sorry, guys. I am not organized today. I am apologizing for that. Because normally I would be very organized for videos like these. But I'm just honestly with you, I am not. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I'm just doing this as a hobby. YouTube is just being a little hobby of mine. Which is my first video of 2021. How about that? On the gaming channel. How about that? Even though I have to continue playing uh, Link the Faces of Evil. Which I actually made part one. I might do part two maybe. Nah, I'm just not going to say anything on it. I would try to do it every day. I said try. I mean, I would try my best to do it every single day. I mean, it's pretty hard to do it every day anyway. Because you have to do work and you have to sleep. You have to wake up 5.50. I mean, 5.30 in the morning. Yes, I work at 7 a.m. I mean, 7.30 a.m. I wake up very early. And it takes my, and it takes my sweet ass time to get ready. Anyways, I'll be honest. Eee, come on! Do the fanny scream! Eee, come on! Oh my god. Done. I'm not running on this whiteboard ever again. <laughs> I'm gonna get another one to replace this one. I actually messed this one up. And yes, yeah, some of the markers lost their magnets. Alright. How about this? Important stuff goes on this board. How about that? Oh, wait, I don't have to mark it up. Put them together. What do you get? Laugh. <laughs> what the hell? That doesn't make any sense what I just said. Okay. Let me turn you this way to the whiteboard. How about that? There we go. But I'm not on the freaking video. What the hell? Okay. Not screw it. How about I turn you this way? Oh. I'm cooking at something here. I'm cooking up at something. There we go. So important stuff goes on here. And I don't have nothing to scrub. I probably think wrong <laughs> already. So I already messed up myself already. So uh, what's up? I didn't read the first objective for you, didn't I? All right, let's read the first objective because I didn't read the first objective. <clears throat> On some cases, getting started. On some cases, game that lead to getting started. Unsolved case files is a game that lets you solve a fictional crime using evidence and documentation from the original case file. Case number 03-05081998. Objective 1. Prove Bones is innocent. 1 of 3. When you know why Bones is innocent, visit the webpage to prove it. 
After proven bones could not be the killer, you may open bonus envelope A. All right. <clears throat> so this is the game. So you started the game. Now, I know this is part of evidence to the convict, the letter. So I'm going to read the newspaper. I'm not reading this out loud, so... Okay, but might as well read some of it out loud. Local child psychologist murdered. And it would say, like, about her, the victim, what she did for the community. And now I'm going to read the talk of the town. Timber... Literally... Wait, I have a freaking megaphone glass. I think I do, don't I? Hold on. No, I don't. <laughs> Wait, let me go check something. Let me check some drawers. I think I do. I think I do have a megaphone glass. You have a freaking... You used to have them here somewhere. I just need one. I keep stepping on these chip apples. Oh my god! Yeah! Is that gun? Uh. Oh. I might dump you somewhere. There's too many stuff up here. I'm just dragging. Haha, uh -huh. you a magnet? You a magnet? Spoon. Almost there. Hmm. Hmm. I have it here somewhere. Just have so much crap over there. Wait a minute. Wait. I can find the last. I can find the last. Of course, I can find the last. I don't think it's up here. I mean, if I did put them up here, I might be a genius. I don't remember when I bought them. I mean, I had them before. I mean, I used to. Oh, I wish I could do it. I see one in here. I remember I had one. I just don't remember in which drawer. Any no, I mean, don't make any messes on your room, then, because you have to clean all that crap. Yada 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 yada. Hatchet. How was it put here? I don't think I have one. Well, dang it. Let me ask if he has one. I think this one was. I'll be back.
this and slide this up. All right, it worked. All right. Okay then. <clears throat> Okay. Sorry for me to be gone for a bit. Okay, I need a magnifying glass. And I forgot about that. Ah. Perfect. So, I'm just going to use it for the photos, which I forgot to take in now. Where's the photos? I think some of this is evidence. Do not. Okay. This is what I need first. Even though I opened this from the wrong thing, so. Alright. <clears throat> Simpsons, I'm gonna put up. Something may not be above. Love it on the side. You want to put a voter, and I'm gonna put you up here because you're the victim technically. Maybe put you right here. Let me show you. Victim. The murder victim. Let's solve your mother. And Bones. That's the guy I'm proven is innocent. So. So, years. He's gonna be 44. Ha ha. 44 years. So, technically, this case takes place in 2000. Like, this re investigation starts in 2013. Let me drink some water because it's gonna be a very, very leading, reading, very good. And for me to be hyper about. <laughs> me to be hyper about. I'm sorry. Wait. This the hyper me up. Energy world. It's very bubbly. All right. Now let's get rolling. Got the photos. Not the. Got the uh, criminals first. I'm gonna check bones stuff. And then what I'm gonna do is gonna put the paper clip back on it. Oh yeah. This will help me out later, sooner or later. So, ah, Telly's restaurant. Perfect. Okay, Peter Simp. The ah, paper could both of your stuff. Okay. All right. Oh crap. Maybe, maybe, let me spread all the uh, uh, suspects up and put them right there, so I can actually read the four. Besides his, which I will put away, because he's the guy who's innocent, and I'm proving his innocence right now. So, first of all, the um, <clears throat> uh, the photos of that, and uh, I'm going to do is read the newspaper, and where's the map? I swore I have a map. Hmm. Let me see here. And I'm gonna let me uh, get this and read everything. Hmm. Okay, then you got this. You did this before. Oh, you had to forget everything. Let me ask you. Bones. Oh, right, Mister. Mister. <clears throat> Mister Mister McBride. Let's see if you're innocent or not. <laughs> Kidding. William McBride Bones in transition Riverdale, Indiana for free to see. I read the shit out. <laughs> I read the shit out. Okay, guys, don't think all oh, this is real. Okay, just get rid of that book crap. Okay, good. He doesn't own a car, so theft can come 
convictions. No, none that I know of. Ona does not own. He was at the bar until after 9 p.m. From there, he went to Grant Park to get some rest and fell asleep. The next thing he remembered is woken up by the police officer. And this is the officer's uh, witness statement for him. <clears throat> it's funny how they trying to get rid of the uh, the officer's uh, address. <laughs> I didn't check the back. Okay, it's something at the back. I didn't check the back. And this is the interview form, which goes all the way at the back. All right. Now, this is interesting. I am going to look at the statement, the newspaper, and the map. And I'm going to explain why. So... I believe Bones was not the killer because when I read the statement right here, this one right here, he missed the call a happy hour. He said 9, maybe 9.15. And according to the newspaper article, the uh, bridge... Let me move you out of the way. Get your photo out of the way. And, uh... Because I'm going to explain why I believe he's innocent. Because how the hell he went to Rambo's bar and to Tally's, Even though the bridge was closed around 8.45 and 9.45 p.m. So, that's no way in hell. So, technically... And even though... The case... Is still... That so, according to my theory, I think is that and the map of Riverdale, and there's my documents. And there we go, first objective is done. So, that means I reprove his innocence. How I'm gonna this is a spoiler now, I have proven his innocence because one. The bridge was closed. Because according to the article, like in the back of Talk of the Town, it says temporary road closure. Riverdale Fire Department closes Dale Bridge to both vehicle and pedestrian traffic for an hour on Friday night during to clear a down I would say I can't read that part, but it says Whatever line, according to reports, RFD on the scene at 8.45 and traffic resumed across the bridge by 9.45. Which means it would be no way in hell that Bones was there. So, technically, Bones' murder is dropped. So, he is now free to do whatever he wants, not to do dumb shit later on. Okay, <laughs> which is a good thing. Now I can do is uh, change this one and make it to two. I can do two and I can actually do is put all the bone stuff and put the bones away. Bones information. Bones is now out of my, uh, out of my suspect list. Because one, he never did it. Two, I proved it. And three, he is now free as a bird. For now. <laughs> I said for now. For now until maybe he's the next victim or whatever the hell. I mean, or whatever happens later. So it's hilarious. I actually... Well, the first time I played it... I mean, this is my first time playing. What the hell is wrong with me? So, Bones' and stuff. Him as the... I'm going to say he is a victim of... Of being... Um, falsely accused. And... I have right this wrong. Now, it's time to find out who lied and why did they lie. So this, this is done. 
I'm just going to put it in the pile and put a paper clip and get the newspaper clipping out of there. Okay. Now it's going to be right here. <clears throat> Alright. Now everything is going to be more um, hectic in this video. Not the video. That's when the game is going to be more interesting. Okay. Now let me open one. I'm going to need the photos of the victim. Photos of the witness and the victim when they were kids. So, oh wait, why I put you on top of other suspects, which I need to read their stuff. Which, I had to read their stuff and figure out which one is lying, which, whatever. This ring is on top. This is not important, right? I mean, generally it is important, so this, that. Perfect. Okay. Now, let me change the site. You know, I'm just gonna put it on Twitter. Guess why not? <laughs> I'm gonna do this on Twitter real quick. Hold on. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> nah, I would say I, I solved the whole case. How about that? It was way to the end. Let me change this one. I mean, I like doing this on the laptop than on the phone, because last time I did it on my cell phone, it won't let me change anything. So I'm gonna do two. two. Yep. Who is lying is next. Oh, wait, I didn't open. Dang it, I didn't open that one. I didn't open the right envelope in front of you guys. I'm sorry. Now this is the right envelope. This objective is completed. Now it's time you read a good story, read a good idea, and my next objective. Please be in there. I think I, yeah, I do. Very hidden. It's very hidden in. I put you back. How about this? Oh, come on. <clears throat> it's hard to describe my feelings right now. McBride. Cleared of all charges in 1988. I mean, 1998. <laughs> what the fuck? No. <laughs> I fucked up. No. No. Okay. McBride. Clear of all charges in 1998. How about that? Riverdale murder by Abraham Grove Jr. Ex Examiner staff writer. Riverdale. Thanks to the newly reopened case, local man William Bones McBride has finally clear of all charges in the decades old homicide of revered child psychologist Harmony Ashcroft. After the years of incarceration at Indiana's Max maximum security state prison, McBride has been released with no charges remain to face. Police Chief Jones Vig has made it clear that McBride is now a private citizen who is free to go about his business. He adds, it's deeply unfortunate that this that this mistake has been made. It is never easy to pick up your life after losing so many years to a horrible error in the justice system. But we severely hope Mr. McBride is able to do so. From the moment he was arrested and charged with Ashcroft's death, McBride is, has insisted upon his innocence, claiming that he had no idea how the victim's engagement ring came into his possession. But an independent investigator brought new evidence to police to free McBride. The Dale Bridge was closed at the night of the murder from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. This is why I knew it was something messed up. The Dale Birch was closed during the murder. And since McBride did not have did not have access to a vehicle, he could have not have left Rambo's bar at nine PM. Nine PM walk to Tally to commit the murder at nine thirty and walk back to Grant Park by ten. The smoking gun evidence was newspaper article confirming the time and date of the bridge closure found on the back of the article about the murder published in the newspaper on May 9th, 1998. 
After spending years in prison, McBride is eager to start his new life. He added that a while incarceration was not an enjoyable experience. He used the time lazily, lazily, which, while behind bars, he received his GED and bachelor's degree, with an eye toward a career in law. I had to learn the, the hard way that the law isn't always on your side. I was able to help a few other inmates with their cases, and hopefully, hopefully with a law degree in a few years, I can help many more. According to Vig, we're reopening the case, and I'm confident we'll find the murderer this time. We always do eventually. So since McBride is now free from prison, the next thing is, who the hell was lying? Who was lying? Okay, I have the second objective, so who? I'm putting it back because I want to put everything back anyway. So, oh yeah, I forgot to show Bones. Crap. I realized I kept going for it. So Bones is this dude right here. This dude has been charged in the beginning of the case and is messed up. Why they throw this innocent dude in prison for 20 years, which I don't freaking know why. So at least he is off the hook. How about that? He's free. But the good thing about it, this guy was smart than I thought he was. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Some of that stupid joke. Okay, now let me read this next one. <clears throat> Case number. Oh, crutch is the same number. Crack the false alibi. One of the five suspects in the case has lied about his alibi. Your job is to find the proof. When you can prove a suspect's major lie about his alibi, visit this page to prove it. After cracking the false alibi, you can open buttons and vote B with potential evidence and find a real objective free. Hint, you're looking for an obvious and mistakable, unmistakable lie in the suspect's alibi. This is my favorite one. <laughs> To be honest, I'm going to put this back. Now nah, I'm just going to have it out. Because it can help me out, like, what to do and what I'm looking for. So, besides Bones, Bones is out the out the suspect list. Now, I have to read Derek's. Which I thought was him. I mean, I forgot. This is my first time playing. Okay. Now I'm being focused right now. <clears throat> Let me read his alibi. In a visual statement. First, he is not same Silvers, Derek, middle name Edward. <clears throat> lives in the apartment. It looks like. No, he lives at home. Yeah, he does live in the apartment in Rivadero, Indiana. Sat, married, stated, divorced, born uh, December 14th, 1960. 37, white, 5'11", 203. Brown, brown, shoe size 11. Dominant hand left. Replace, Liverdale. <clears throat> Several tattoos on both arms. 12 years in Navy. Honorable discharge. Honor on a boat, on I think it's, uh, whatever it's on a, I think it's like honorable discharge, years of the military combat training. On do you own a firearm? He does. Domestic fire violence, nineteen ninety four, never convicted. Probably not. Pending family court issue. Walmart. Nine months. Loss prevention. Nineteen ninety-two Ford Bronco, black. Okay. Now he was with Emerald Joseph Artson, Arthurson, from around eight thirty. To 10 p.m. I mean 10:30 p.m. 
they were talking to together on on the river all night. That is a true alibi, and this is actually the Emerald, his stuff. So, I'm just going to read this, and uh, I'm going to tell you. I'm just looking in the back just in case. Okay, this one's done. Wait. Oh, this is continuous. Oops. <laughs> Chris Adams. Wait a minute. Adams. Okay, this is the wrong one then. I actually made a mistake with one of them. So, one of them is about... So, one of them had the wrong papers. I have too many continues stuff so okay I got the right thing then okay so this one was talking about the mental hospital then I don't know oh this is definitely Derek's then. this is okay this is Derek's stuff Oh, so he actually helps. Yeah, he helps uh, with people. I freaking jumped uh, too soon. Whoops, I found a mistake. But I'm going to actually say... I don't think he was lying though, because This is his interview anyway. So, this is a last one for Derek. 
And I can say, his alibi is not a lie. And I have my reasons why I have to say that. Next is Rex. Because I took his paperclip off. Which I don't know what I did with it. Maybe right here? Okay, I'm going to put the paper clips where they belong to. So I'm going to put them on top. So I can put them back together. Okay. Oh, great. Now what I do with a paper clip? Damn. Okay. This is different. I think he had an interview too. And a lot of freaking goals. Okay. Also lives in an apartment in Riverdale. Riverdale, Indiana. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I didn't show, um... This is the first guy I read. No, this is the second dude. <clears throat> Sorry for my awkward silence because I'm reading um everything to make sure I have everything correctly. That was the first witness statement. This is the last um, one before I read his um, interview and in phone records. That is a witness statement of his. And that was his uh, interview statement with the uh, detective of that case. And it turns out uh, two days later.
that is the end of the interview. So, in the end, end of the interview with him, the detective was actually saying that he did it. But, according to here, the landlord probably just said, yeah, he was home the entire time. <clears throat> this is all the calls from one, two, three, four. Tim. Okay, that's actually nine. You think about it. Yeah, it's nine. That's eight. That's all his uh, phone calls to, uh, um, <clears throat> so technically this dude had a mental problem because he probably witnessed his mother dying, maybe. That's my theory, though. Can't wait to hear your theories. But technically that checks out. He was actually home the entire night. So technically he didn't do the crime. Now let me read the fiancés. Oh, bye. Fiancé. Fiancé. Sorry, you see a blue light on the picture? Alright. That's a fiancé. Now I'm reading his alibi. He would say married, but, uh... Went back to being single. <clears throat> Peterson Christian... No name Corey. I only read the continued crap. <laughs> this is his interview. End of the interview. I'm gonna show one witness, second witness, one will. This guy looks like freaking dance at Washington. Not our witness. Witness. Chad. Oh, wait. <laughs> Bones while he was in prison, but he's now free.
Boom. This I have to check. Emerald. It's fine. Officer Kent. Chero. Didn't show the mother. So, let me figure all this out. Now, I'm going to look at the thing. Telly's restaurant. The ring. This. Don't need that. Now it's having to read Andy Allen. Andy Allen is the last guy I'm going to read. And I'm going to check that car in front of the restaurant. And I had to make sure to keep an eye on it. If I don't, I will make the same. I will make a bad mistake. Which I can actually keep trying over and over again to make my. to correct my wrong. So. Alright. Alan, Andrew. So technically, his name was Adji Andrew James. Alan, Andrew. The name James. Dale. I went to bed around 11, but at 2 p.m., 2 a.m., I received a phone call from Deborah Ashcroft's Harmony's mother, and she explained to me that Harmony was murdered at the party. My neighbor, Jason, can confirm that I was fixing my car when the crime happened. Let me read this one. <clears throat> Next interview. I mean, next witness statement. Sorry. Oh, my one. Six years old. Been friends since we were six years old. Car number is six four 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 three five. Let me see this. Let's see.
Wait a minute. Six, four, four. I see the four, three, five. Six, four, four, three. You lying mother. Oh, you naughty boy. <laughs> so. Got him lying on the act. Andy Allen, you drove your car to the crime scene. Even you said you have brake problems. You lying, such a crap. You lying. Okay. Crime photo. Front of restaurant. And... Where's the alibi? Person of interest. Andy Allen. Let's see. Of course. It's kind of hard for me to see that on here. But. Andy said his car is messed up. But I see a gray vehicle. Wait a minute. Gray vehicle. Six four six four four three Oh my god I like having the magnifying glass this time around. Wow I didn't know you had to look at a gray car but turns out Let me see his car again. Hyundai it looks like a Hyundai Six. Oh my god. <clears throat> now, I will read. This is A. <clears throat> this is the semi-final. Final. I will put it in front. Because this is the uh, ending. So, <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> That's the photo, and I have to do is <clears throat> let me read this letter. <clears throat> to whom it may concern, this is Dipper Ashcroft. The Riverdale Police would not give me your contact information, but they agreed to pass along a letter. I wanted to thank you for your help with my daughter's case. It's been decades since it happened, but I couldn't describe how difficult it has been. Some days are better than others, but a day has yet to pass that I didn't wish I could wake up from my nightmare. I am very glad that you proven Mr. McBride's innocence. He's been living his own nightmare through, through the years, night along us. <clears throat> I feel so much guilt for all the anger I directed at him. Struggling with all the resurfaced memories, but I am glad some justice is being done. I hope you continue your efforts to find the real killer. I always have resent resentment with Christian for what happened. It's been hard watching him move on with his life, always wondering in the back of my head what might be different if he hadn't left my daughter alone that night. Assuming that really happened. That really happened. Actually, he did do it. did really happen. I wanted to be happy for Jennifer and him. Their family is so beautiful, but it pays me to admit every time I see them around town, I couldn't help feeling jealous. It's like their kids should be should be my grandchildren. If only someone haven't taken harmony. I wish I mean I was told by the police that you looking into the old suspects in the case and I think 
That's great. I would believe that Christian is innocent, but I always had my doubts. And there were few other characters in Harmony's life back then. I never felt good about. I heard you've been investigating Andy Allen, and I just wanted to respectfully say that I think your efforts might be spent on other suspects. I know Andy since he was six, and he never hurt Harmony. He they've been inseparable since T Ball in nineteen seventy six. Included one of my favorite pitchers from that team. If it was, it was one of the few times I got between them. Andy has lived through his own nightmare since the incident. He fell on hard times right after Harmony's death and has never recovered. I am I am afraid false accusations against him could cause a lot of harm. I think he still blames himself for what happened. But I won't question your judgment. You cracked open a 20-year-old case that police couldn't solve. I have a lot of faith in you to find the real killer. What you're doing is very important to us. Please let me know if I can help. Sincerely, Deborah Ashcroft. And I'll be honest with you, Deborah, I am not following through it. Because... <clears throat> Number one, Exhibit A. Oh, shit. Exhibit A. Let me look at this. Exhibit A. If he was, if he didn't really do it, then why is he left-handed? And even in the autopsy report, the <clears throat> victim was killed by a single stroke with a weapon by a hand or blunt object. But the force and angle from impel in dedicated the murder would be need to be a left-handed or left-handed and wait a minute I should have objective free in here did I talk objective free in here oh no I did not it's stuck in there isn't it yes it is oh wait, wait, wait. oh wait this is the wrong one there's something stuck in here isn't it yes you are <clears throat> number three convict the killer uh um <clears throat> if Andy is not the killer, but why in the baseball card in the baseball the, your old photo your old photo showing that he was left handed. So would that mean liar? So technically, he is a lying sack. So technically, I hate to say this, but uh, Andy Allen is the killer in this story. But I have no choice to say that. Because here's the thing. Corners report, autopsy report. And where is the photo? Witness photo. Photo, 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 photo. Little Lee pictures harmony with two boys and mother. Boom. That, my friends, the killer was Andy. Was Andy the entire time. One. One, I already solved it. I already figured it out. Because technically, if I had it, he was left-handed because of the photo. How could he done this? However, one, <clears throat> let me read his confession. Voluntarily statement to one of the two. Riverdale, state of Indiana, County of Wilson, date April twenty first, two thousand thirteen, ten a.m. Riverdale Police Headquarters. Andrew Allen, being duty sworn and am a legal adult of some mind, 
I have duty worn by James Fig, who has identified himself as Riverdale Police Chief. That the time to write that I have a right to remain silent. I don't have to say anything if I don't want to. That anything I could say can't be used against me in the court of law. That I have the right to talk to a lawyer before making any statement to tell him where in me that if I can't pay lawyer, one will give me before I have before I make any statement if I wish. I understand what rights are. My rights are, and then willing to make a statement. I do not want a lawyer at this time. No promises or threats have been made to me to induce me to make the statement. His name is Andy Allen, and he killed Harmony Ashcroft on May 8th, 1998. It was a crime of passion and not permitted, not premeditated. On the evening of May 8th, 1998, he drove to Tally to attend Harmony and Christian's Kristen Pierce, Peterson's wedding rehearsal dinner. He intended to tell Harmony that he loved her and didn't think she would marry, should marry Christian. When he arrived at the party, he didn't take have the courage to go in. He didn't want to be around those people celebrating the wedding and decided to want to talk to Harmony by her, by her Van Lover in the back parking lot. About 9.30, Christian and Harmony came out of the back door of Tally's together. They were arguing, and he hid another, he hid behind another vehicle since he wanted to talk to Harmony alone. Christian was very angry and screaming in Harmony's face. He was about to fight him when he got into the car and peeled out of the parking lot alone. He thought it would be the pro, pro, uh, he thought it was a perfect opportunity to tell how he felt and woke up to her with every ounce of courage. He could muster. He shared his true feelings. It took a minute or two. And he had fallen in love with her at six years old playing t-ball together. And his feelings have grown stronger for these years. He told her he could do much better than Christian. If she gave her a chance. Harmony's reaction was not anticipated through the uh, times. He ran through the scenario in the mind. Wait a minute. It was cl so her reaction was not his presentation. She said something like, "Poor Andy, or Andy, your poor thing," and put her hand on his shoulder. But he stood back. It was clear to her family his feelings for him were not the same as his. He fought it. He floored and embarrassed beyond belief. He had to run for the scenario so many times in his mind. And this wasn't ever a response he was expecting. She kept all coming toward him, offering her pity and concern for his feelings, like he was one of her patients. He couldn't take it. He asked her to leave him alone. She kept reaching out her hand as he kept backed away. She kept moving toward him. He just crushed and embarrassed and confused a rush of his feelings. Along her pity caused him to snap. Just wanted to give. She just want her to give him some space, and leave him alone. But he was controlling, punched her in the face, really hard with his left hand. He was not sure where it came from. He never f been violent in his life. Harmony went down instantly, and he got down to try to help her. She didn't don't have a pause. It was clear from the lifeless eyes of her body crushed skull she was dead. He stood above 
in an absolute shock. He noticed the engagement ring under her hand and thought how Christian can cause this. In the heat of the moment, he decided to take the engagement ring, thinking about he didn't deserve to see it on her ever again. He hurried back into the car, was too rattled to drive away. After 10 minutes later, the, the police arrived, and he realized he got to get out of there and drove home, t taking the bridge near Riverdale Marina. About halfway home, he realized he had to get rid of the engagement ring, so he stopped at Grand Park, where he saw Mr. McBride sleeping. He put it on his hand. I didn't know. He didn't know Mr. McBride, and he tend to frame him for the murder. He just thought in a few days he might try to pawn the ring it <laughs> and it get back to the police and send on a wild goose chase looking for the wrong killer. He realized he I didn't have an alibi as soon as, as he got home. He went to his neighbor's house and pretended like he's been fixing the bricks in the car evening though he had fixed them earlier that evening before the party. Before leaving the party. He knew the police would look for a powerful left-handed person. While filling out the person of interest for him. He decided he would pretend to be right-handed. So he's been right using his right hand since. So technically. People. Don't. Be an idiot. Okay, if the woman is not interested in you, for example, it does not mean to commit murder. Alright? If they say poor thing, they really, really do care about you in the end. So, that's the end of the case. And uh, I would actually put uh, the link in the description. And uh, if you guys actually did that, you can just do is watch the video. I think I can look this up. I think I not. But I think I can play the video. Because it's copyrighted. So it's going to say that. Um, it's going to say a uh, man. Alan. His age is now like 40. Years of age. And he admitted to investigators that he did it. So technically I solved the case. So case is now closed. So. And technically, it took me, not really an hour. It took me, like, two hours. I don't know. Whatever. But I solved it real quickly. So, that is the end of the game. So, the end of the game is, but, uh, since I finished the game, I'm going to clean this up. After I'm done cleaning this up during the video, I'm going to explain myself. And I have good news. If you guys are a fan of mystery as I am, and I might make it as a series, but it's going to be a monthly series, because might as well talk about the series. So the new series is going to be Hunt a Killer. I subscribe a yearly subscription with fun because I'm interested in it. And that sounds fun, okay? Like this. This is fun. To me. I like solving shit. <laughs> I love solving shit. And I actually figured this out on my own. Again. So. This. Oh. This is it. Part of A. Because I put the one back in there. So. Technically. Case is closed. So. This dude is the murderer. And I have proved it. And already proved the guy's innocence. McBride's innocence. So technically it was Andy the entire time. And I'm going to explain why. He asked, he told her his feelings to her, sir. She didn't accept it. She felt sorry for him. So, he wanted her to back away from her, but he killed her instantly with one punch. So, the one punch she fell in fell on her head, which broke her skull, which makes sense. So... In the life of a lesson, if a girl doesn't want or doesn't really like you, just leave them alone. <laughs> Even they're getting married, never do that. That's like a dick move, too. You're asking them to marry you. 
even they're about to get married. Like, what the hell? Like, you don't do that. See, I told you I'm cursed like a sailor. But seriously, don't do that. Don't ever, ever do murder, okay? Murder's not fun. And murder is a real crime. Like, murder is homicide. They're both sound the same, okay? But lying on the homicide is worse. Like, police will look at you and say, you lied to us, and this is bad. Which is true, because you don't... Because I actually uh, watch... Um, what's the show called? Um, yeah, I'm just going to give this... Uh, I'm going to put this uh, thing back. I'm going to put BRB scene, so I'm going to be right back as fast as I can. Right? I'm going to... I am back, like I said I would. Okay, since I put everything back, so I solved the crime. Andy Allen is a killer. That's that's the end. So technically, he confessed to you and said, "You know what? I like I love Harmony, but she I wanted her to get away from me, so he snapped when she got closer, and that punch really killed her. So." And then he decided to write on his right hand and use his right hand to fold the police officers. Which was very good, but until you realize you done goofed. So, uh, I really hope, um, Well, um, I'm just putting everything away. Hopefully, I got some more of these, uh, you know, paper clips. Because without the paper clips, I can't put uh, people's stuff back together. That is Christian's stuff. Good thing I got a table I can put these uh, cases back in order. <laughs> I actually like this game. I mean, the people who make this, like I said, they did a good job on it. Okay? It, like, the first, if you're playing this for the first time, like, I'm going to just explain now because now I can talk about what I did last night. The first time I did it, I didn't understand or don't know what to do. But it gives you hints to say, oh, check the newspaper. But a newspaper article did say something in the back about the roads being closed during that time. And it was very interesting. It was very interesting. So the whole interesting story is that um, you proved that one dude is innocent. And the one dude who is truly innocent was actually... 
Bones McBride the entire time. Because, one, he was arrested for something he didn't do. And the police suspected him of murder. But the truth was, he didn't do the crime. So, why did they throw that person in there to begin with? So, I'm going to have my... So, I'm going to do an explanation, like, why. Okay, it's not a race thing, I'm going to say, but I'm going to say because they actually saw the engagement ring on his hand, and he did not understand, or not, and he didn't know when it, when it came from, or where it came from, and he was, like, freaking out, like, oh, shit, please don't throw me in prison for something like this, because I know I would never do something like that. And that was the truth, he didn't do it. And the woman who was, uh, Deborah, was actually apologized for all the, uh, painful shit she said to him. Wait, did I put a paperclip inside of this folder? I can check. Guess that might be a possibility I did. No, I didn't. <laughs> well, I'm missing two paperclips. <laughs> Oops. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I need the, uh, evidence, uh, thing anyway. So I can put these photos back. And, uh, maybe I accidentally have one in here. Come on. Nope. Don't. Oh! 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 I have one! On this one. So, so I'm going to do is move this off. Move this fingerprints off. Because they're not moving around. And the article. Now we got the evidence, so I can put the photos away. Okay, the photos are right in front of me. Yes, I opened this photo wrong. You're supposed to open it from the top. So, good news is, case is closed. Case of Harmony. Harmony Ashburn murder case solved by a good detective. Yay! Case is closed. Bad guy. Criminal got caught. So, was caught left-handed for murdering the girl that day. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, I swear to God, don't make that as a song, please. It was just joke. It was a dumb joke. And I swear to God, like, I swear, if you, you guys watching my video and you made that song, oh, there's a guy killed a girl <laughs> Freaking night. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Oh, great. Now I'm missing two paper clips. Great. I got two on here, and I'm missing two. What the hell? What the hell am I missing? Okay, I'm gonna put these two back in the folder. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, there's bones. These freaking be in there, and I'm missing two paper clips. No, damn it! That's what I get for doing this. Mm. Damn it! There we go. That's everything. There we go. I dropped a photo. Oh, that's his photo. Can't lose that. No, no, no. Okay. All right. <clears throat> One. Go in here. Two. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait a minute. Let me take the paper clip off so I can fix the papers. I can't not afford having mess up papers on this folder again. Please. Never again. <laughs> I mean, I will play this game again if you guys wanted me to with my more reactions and more quicker. I mean, I can solve this whole thing, like, very quick. I mean, I'm not doing... I'm not doing a board game speedrun. Screw that. I mean, you can't do that. You can't speedrun in, uh, board games. That's impossible. Okay? You can't speedrun in board games. Alright. 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 I can have three of them in there. Now I'm gonna do... It's put this up here, and I'm gonna check this pile over here. Where the hell is the rest of the paper cups? Are they fall on my floor or something? I mean, is that a possibility? Let me check. Oh, wait, this is my receipt. I mean, my thing. Okay. Alright. 
because that's weird. I have like five freaking um, paper clips. I think they'll be right at my mouse or something. Or on top of my computer. Uh, okay. okay, I'm going to open this up again. I might as well just have them mixed up because, you know, I guess I don't have their paper clips. Which That was actually my fault. So this is... Oh, let me throw. This is Rax's, uh, where's his photo, where the fudge is photo, put his photo somewhere, still not, okay, this should be, so the map and everything else should be on top, so I can actually know what's supposed to be here, so I know the map, the, uh, news articles, oh, there he is, finally, put it right here, that is, this is, his stuff and God. so the good thing is I have every single thing even the blue one for this dude's stuff and okay let me put this up here until I find their uh, paper clips so at least I got some papers actually actually make I made it so neat I can actually see the freaking case <laughs> number and all <laughs> Okay. These paper articles should be on the map. <clears throat> so it's like a PG thirteen kind of thing. Even though it says uh PG fourteen, I think. Or is it fourteen plus, I don't remember. It says fourteen plus, but uh for me I'm twenty four and I actually did my good deed. Or did a good job doing it very, really, very, really, very really fast this time around. Okay. I'm just going to do, since I don't remember where the freaking paper clips for these guys are went. So, if I find them, I would put them away. Okay. I put them the way. I put them away. Because I know the way they go. Alright. Oh crap. Is this oh no I forgot his Dang it Blip 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 I have made a major mistake. Okay. Now we can do is put Oh he's stiff all his yellow papers. So this is it. This is his stuff. Right behind the yellow papers. And this should be in here. And then this for the back should be in the beak. All the way, all the way in the beak. And I gotta be very careful. Because this is going away to the freaking victory town. At least I made a good solve. So. If you want your big YouTubers to play uh, something like these, uh, just ask them they want to do it. Because they might be... Because I really want to see how they do their detective work. How about that? That might be a good challenge for every single one. How about that? Big challenge. Play a mystery board game. <laughs> play a mystery board game. And so I can... <laughs> so I can... <laughs> react... To your detective work. That is so wrong. It's so wrong. So, um, and I am done cleaning up for now until I find the paper clips. I'm gonna put on my computer. Ah, I found two of them! Yay! I found one! I found one. I thought I found two of them. Son of a gun. I got one more missing. I got one more that's missing. Great. I found one of the Paper clips. Could be a uh, be a uh, so or not. Grab it with your teeth. Okay. I'm gonna stop because that song is copyrighted too. Let's check something out. <laughs> I actually like this video though. So even though I'm still broke. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right. I can do is put this. Put this up here. Good. Now I have one that's missing one paper clip. And that's a good, kind of a good thing. And this paper right here is supposed to be in front. So let's train this out. I'm trying to be organized here. Be organized. Here we go. So, the game's difficulty, it depends. If you don't go like, uh, I mean, for me, it's kind of like Clue, but instead you actually solve them. Right they already happened. So, I have played Clue, but Clue was fun. I never actually played an actual one without the uh, slip of uh, Clue that actually, um, that you hide the, uh, the uh, thing with uh, three characters in it, and you have to solve who actually did it. And you actually know who did it. So. Oh crap. Did I put the freaking envelope in the thing? Yes, I did. In the folder? Oh, it's outside the folder. Whatever. At least it's nice and organized. Still. Still, I did it. This is this. This game was a bit harder the first time you play it. I mean, it will be hard the first time you play it. So, yeah. So, I'm going to turn you around here so you can have me better. And I'm going to put you down. Put you a little bit up. So, I'm going to move you again. And I'm just going to do is move this little thing. There we go. So, okay. I'm going to put you right over here for now. Alright, so I'll find out where the other paperclip is. Mystery of paperclip. I'm gonna make that to a freaking series. I'm gonna type all that and just get a bunch of paperclips and just <laughs> spin it all in my freaking room and see me go hack the crazy just for finding them. Okay. So I actually want to say, okay. Monthly series. Season 1. Episode 1. I'm going to play Hunt a Killer. Episode one, and I get every single episode every month. So I'm getting episode two next month. This month's box is coming in sometime soon. I don't know when. Okay, I'm just checking the. Uh, I'm checking the. Um, I'm checking the. Uh, the. Um, so technically, I'm checking the uh, trackman for it. I'm checking the. Uh, the, uh, the tracking number so I can know when or, you know, it's coming from Maryland, uh, 100K, where it's coming from Baltimore, Maryland, going to Martinsburg, West Virginia. But the good thing is, um, it's a series I'm gonna be doing every month. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, you better get over here. I'm done. You wanna be in video? You're not a cat, bro. You're not a cat, bro. I swear to God, my big brother acts like a damn cat every time. I swear to God. I swear to God, I'm trying to get on tape every single time. No one believes me. No one believes me. I'm going to be on PS4 and telling them, hey, every single time I do a video, my brother shows up and hits at me as a cat or acts like a damn cat, and he gets so annoying with it because it gets so annoying. So, I mean, it, it does get annoying. Okay, well, to me it gets so freaking annoying. But, uh, what I'm trying to say. Hunt a Killer is gonna be a series in this channel because it's gaming. And board games is technically gaming. So, I'm gonna do Hunt a Killer Season 1. When it comes here. I don't know when, okay? But I'm excited for it. I actually did a yearly subscription subscription for Hunt and Killer. But I know I'm getting in six months. Like the whole season is going to be six months. And I'm going to do the next season in the first month of the next season. So, so every year it's 300. So you're doing two seasons a year. Because one season is six months. A season is six months. So, Hunt a Killer 
is going to be a very interesting and intense series in this channel. If you like me doing mystery games, say whatever in the in comments. I know I am a mess right now because right now I have been looking for a paperclip for the game which I did. It was pretty fun. I actually did it yesterday. And they keep saying, oh, I shouldn't be saying I did it yesterday. But technically, I did it yesterday. <laughs> but at least I finished uh, Unsolved Mysteries, but that is not a solved case. I'm going to explain the whole thing. So my whole theory, the entire case, the first time I did I thought was the stalker. The guy who has been calling, um calling um the lady which is um harmony because the reason he was calling Har harmony like multiple times so he can actually have someone helping him out saying hey i have a bad thing because my mother was murdered and i keep hearing her voice every now and then and i need help like some get a medicine for it whatever so that was my first theory it turns out i was wrong but the second theory was was Andy. No, I think the third one was uh, the uh, <laughs> the army dude. And I was like, no, nah, that ain't it. So the third one was Steve. The, my fourth one was Andy, and it turns out it was uh, Andrew. Uh, Andrew, I forgot his name now. Great. Wait, I think I still have it open. Oh no, I still have it open. I still have it open. I still have it open. Andy, I forgot his freaking last name. Whatever. In this story, he is a criminal, and I'm gonna tweet it that I solved the mystery. I solved an unsolved case file, and their thing. Boop. Done. And then I'm gonna be done, and it's done, and I tweeted it out, and I'm gonna do it on Facebook too. <laughs> That's why not. It's a good thing. Boom. Done. Yay. Okay, I already did the thing. So that's the end of the video. Good thing I told you guys, there's going to be a monthly, monthly series in this channel. And I'm going to be honest too, I'm going to try to record daily too. Daily and upload to YouTube daily. I'm going to make sure to be clean as possible. Well, I might clean like less swearing, you know. On the videos because YouTube is cracking down on swearing. To be honest. <laughs> and uh, I can't say anything by the P word. We're talking to say politics. I have never been or talk about that anymore. I'm done <laughs> with that. That should go away. Okay. Okay. Politics. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That would be <laughs> Okay. That's the end of the video. I hope you like it. Comment, like, subscribe. Add it to your favorites. I'm not going away, okay? But, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. In the next video, and if I get Hunt the Killer Box, I'm going to make an unboxing video. I crap you not. I'm going to open the box. I'm going to get my video camera up there. I'm going to put a battery in it. Waiting for it to come here, I will open the box up with the video camera, and I'm gonna show you what's gonna have in it, and then I'm gonna play it on my gaming channel. My main channel is gonna have the unboxing video, and the gameplay will be on this channel, Down in Darkness Gaming, but also Down in the Darkness. Okay, we got it. All right, bye bye. Yeah.